What is going on you guys? This is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new video and I'm really excited to unbox and show you guys the Glide Wall Light from Gobi and it is one of their new products I've been testing out for a few weeks now. They remind me a lot like the Life X Beams but at like half the price and in my opinion are better and more reliable. So let's take a look at this, talk about the features and the specs and what I overall think about these. So let's take a look at what you get in the box. We got the user manual and the quick start guide, the wall plug, the control box, six segments each measuring at about a foot, and lastly one corner piece. Each segment has two command strips that easily apply it onto the wall and you can easily see how they connect to each other. You just line them up and apply some pressure and they'll just click together. Setting up the glide wall light is very easy. I first measured to make sure that where I wanted to install it will actually work. After that, I started to mount the pieces. You could do it either individually or a few at a time. I went with the second option and I started to remove the adhesive and started to line everything up and made sure that everything was leveled as I was mounting it. Once everything is mounted, I plug it in and you'll start to see the light travel through each individual segment, making sure that everything is connected and working. Once that's all set up, we're going to want to set it up to the internet using the app. On the Android or iOS device, go to your app store and install the Govi Home app. Once in the app, you'll want to add a new device and go into the indoor lighting tab and scroll all the way down and select the glide wall light. After that, you'll need to make an account, the usual like adding an email, confirming it, and creating a password. Once that's all set up, you'll need to turn on the Bluetooth on your phone and it'll automatically find the wall light. You select it, give it a name, and connect it to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Once that's all set up, you are now able to mess with the features that Govi provides. Now let's take a closer look at the app. The first option we have is the Effects Lab, which gives us presets of basic colors like different shades of red, yellow, blue, etc. But then we have presets for food, environments, how you feel, countries that you represent, animals, sports, the list just goes on and you can choose those colors. Next option we have is the timer and this gives you the ability of when you want to turn on and off the glide wall light and what day. Pretty self explanatory. Next option is you are able to change the brightness of the whole light. Pretty simple. After that the refreshing light segment is for if you add or remove a segment this will tell the app to refresh to show the correct amount of segments. After that is the mode and here is where you were able to do all kinds of things. First we got the music mode and that gives you the ability to sync the beat of the music with the lights and you can use the microphone that's on the control box or even the microphone that's on your phone but the control box microphone has some more pre uh, presets like energetic, rhythm, strike, vibrate, hopping, and bounce. And you can also mess with the sensitivity of the microphone from both the control box and on your phone. Next mode we got is the color mode and here you are able to select each section in a segment. There are three sections in one segment and you are able to choose whatever color you want, either from the eight color presets that they offer, even being able to turn off some sections, or you can choose from the color bar. You can also choose a type of Kelvin or a kind of white, like going from a really warm white to a cool white. You can even go so in depth by choosing from two different types of color wheels and also from different shades representing emotion, elements, the environment, etc. You can even individually change the brightness of each section to the way that you want by the percentage and you can have the colors blend more with the gradient option or you could just disable it if you want to. It's insane on how many options there are in just this mode alone. The next mode we have is the scene mode and here you are able to choose certain lighting effects and there are many options. My personal favorites are police, technology, party, rainbow, meteor, greedy snake, stacking, and bubble but there are a ton of other options. The last mode we have is the DIY mode and here you are able to create your own effect and choose your own colors. I personally like the finger sketch, I'm able to fill the wall light with any color that I want and however much I want. I'm able to erase and undo and redo and I can have it do certain effects like cycle, breathe, twinkle, etc. and I could change the speed as well. Once I like my DIY, I give it a name and save it as a preset and easily select it when I want to. But that is basically everything that you could do with the Govi app. Last thing I want to mention is that the glide wall light is compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Home and you could tell it to change the wall light to a different color or even a scene. Also if you're into streaming you could pair these lights with the Lumia stream plugin and whenever you get a follower or a sub on Twitch or YouTube it'll do a color effect and you can have your viewers even control the color in the chat which is awesome when it comes to interaction on stream. 
So after using and messing with the glide wall light from Govi, I've really been happy with the results. The brightness is enough in a well lit room. Unfortunately, it doesn't say anywhere what the lux or lumens of the glide wall light are, but having all the lights on, it's still noticeable and it's very well diffused. I can't see any hot spots at all, which is great for the price and the adhesive is actually holding up really well. It has been reliable and I haven't experienced any issues of it disconnecting, which I really like about Govi because they are very well reliable. I'm also really happy with all the features that it has offered just going through the app. There are a ton of scenes and colors and effects that you can do, so the possibilities are honestly endless. These are also a great choice compared to LifeX Beams because those go for like around $150 and throughout the years, people have actually complained about them not being reliable and constantly disconnecting. And Govi offers everything that LifeX does for a fraction of a price. The Govi Glidewall Lite is currently going for 80 bucks on their website. And I think this is a great choice for your studio, game room, or even an office. And if you're a creator, streamer, or a gamer, I highly recommend these. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, please let me know down in the comments below, or you could join my Discord server and ask me questions on there as well. Everything will also be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, TechHD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!